With the Omicron variant showing no signs of slowing down, the CDC just revised its COVID-19 isolation and quarantine recommendations, cutting them in half. This all comes as pediatric COVID-19 hospital admissions jumped to 80% nationally. And as Americans continue to travel and gather this holiday week, here to help us break it all down is Dr. Syra Madad, infectious disease epidemiologist at Harvard's Belfer Center. Dr. Madad, thank you for being with us this afternoon. The CDC just announced, of course, that if you've tested positive and you are asymptomatic, you only need to isolate for five days. That's down from the previous recommendation of 10. So, Dr. Madad, what do you make of all of this? Is this a good time to be making these changes and these recommendations, especially given the surge that we're now seeing? Well, I think there's a couple of things. First, I think Dr. Sutton did an amazing job kind of breaking down the requirements for isolation and quarantine with this new guidance. But I think that a lot of this obviously is being driven by the shortage of the labor workforce. And so as we look at what is happening around us and with a steep rise in cases with Omicron, we're seeing many people obviously getting infected, many of those that are unvaccinated, many of those that are also vaccinated, so more breakthrough infections. And so this, uh, th this cutting in half of the isolation and quarantine guidance is also based on science and what we know about the the virus previously not so much about omicron but we're extrapolating that based on the delta variant and so i do think that it is a right decision i would i would have hoped that we could couple the isolation requirement with testing but as we all know testing is very hard to come by right now there's been a lot of issues in many different communities around the united states that have uh that don't have access to testing right now but i think right now it is good guidance based on what we know and the current uh, situation that we are in that is good to know now dr Dr. Fauci says that cases will increase as we move through the holidays. We've still got New Year's a couple days away. People are still gathering, still traveling. You say that if you get COVID, it's not the end of the world and that we should normalize these breakthrough infections. So that's a change because I think when a lot of people got vaccinated, they thought, I'm not going to get COVID. We're seeing more of these breakthrough infections. What do you mean by normalizing that? Well, you know, because there's so much virus in our communities, people that have done the right thing, becoming fully vaccinated, also have gotten the booster dose, you know, they're going to be exposed to this virus as they go out in the community, despite their best efforts. And so I think first, it's important to stress that if you are fully vaccinated, plus or minus boosted, you still have really good prevention against severe illness or severe outcomes. And so... I've been getting a lot of calls from friends, family, community members who have said, you know what, we have tried our very best to uh, try to not get inf infected. But, you know, given the current circumstances, we are going out, we are masking, but we did pick up the virus. What should we do? And they are, you know, in disarray. And so what I often mention to them is it's OK that you had a breakthrough infection. As long as your health status is OK, be in contact with your health care provider. We're going to hear more about breakthrough infections, and that's just really going to be the norm. So we just need to normalize that. What I don't want to normalize is people that are unvaccinated and that are getting infected, that is not something that is acceptable. We need to make sure that we are still prioritizing vaccinating the unvaccinated. In fact, if you're looking at in the hospitals, I think it's really important to stress people that are in the hospital right now, and Louisiana just put this out, 80% of those that are hospitalized are unvaccinated. That's the same thing in New York City. Majority of those that are hospitalized are unvaccinated, so they are at highest risk right now. We cannot say this enough. Go get that shot. Uh, you know, we were talking about testing. The president's plan to get 500 million at home tests to Americans didn't make it in time to blunt this Omicron surge that we're now seeing. And now, of course, we're seeing these lines around the country of people really struggling to get tested. So what can Americans do to say to stay safe if they aren't able to get access to a test? So short term, because we have such a, you know, really bad situation when it comes to access to testing and even getting yourself tested with a PCR with very long turnaround times, is first, if you've had a high risk exposure or if you're sick, you should stay home. I know testing is very hard, but go ahead and stay home. Talk to your health care provider. Try to abstain from very large gatherings. Wear a mask if you are going outside or mingling with other people and a high quality mask at that. We are not in March 2020 where supply chain, you know, is not there anymore. We actually have a very good supply of respirators. You can go on many of these online, uh, you know, stores and buy them. I've bought a bunch for myself and my family. So get a high quality mask um, and really try to protect yourself and those around you. Thank you so much for being with us. Infectious disease epidemiologist at Absolutely. Harvard's Belfer Center, Dr. Syra Madad. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.